To make this story even more fun, listen carefully to play along with our guessing game. Once upon a time, in a cozy tree in the middle of a big green jungle, lived two fruit bat brothers. The older brother, Benny, loved adventures and always had stories to tell. His little brother, Timmy, was full of curiosity and loved to ask why and how about everything. One sunny evening, Benny looked at Timmy and said, Timmy, do you want to go on an adventure with me? Timmy's eyes sparkled with excitement. Yes, 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 he cheered. So, they waited until the moon was bright and high in the sky because that's when fruit bats love to fly. With a flap of their wings, off they went, gliding softly into the night. They flew over the tall trees and beneath the twinkling stars, listening to the sounds of the jungle at night. Timmy laughed and pointed at all the beautiful things around them. Benny smiled, happy to see his little brother so joyful. Where are we going? Timmy asked. Benny winked and said, It's a surprise, a place full of wonders. Little did they know, their biggest adventure was just about to begin. Tonight was not like any other night, for they were about to discover something very special, and as the cool night breeze carried them further, the jungle whispered secrets only the bravest would seek. This was the start of their magical night journey, an adventure that would bring them closer than ever. Can you guess what will happen next? Will they find a treasure? Or will they encounter another animal in need? Let's get back to the story to find out. As Benny and Timmy flew deeper into the jungle, they noticed the trees became bigger and the flowers brighter. They saw fruits they had never seen before. Wow, look at those, Timmy gasped, pointing at some shiny, huge fruits hanging from a tree. They're dragon fruits, Benny explained. They're super sweet and juicy. They landed on the tree and munched happily on the dragon fruits. After their snack, they continued their adventure. Suddenly, Timmy heard a strange sound. What's that noise, Benny? Timmy asked, a little worried. Let's find out, Benny said, excited to discover something new. They followed the sound and found a stream, its water sparkling under the moonlight. But something was wrong. A small monkey was on the other side of the stream, looking sad and calling out for help. He can't get back to his family. Benny realized. We need to help him, said Timmy, determined. But how would they do it? The stream was too wide for the monkey to jump, and there were no bridges. Benny thought hard. Then he got an idea. I know. We can use those long vines hanging from that tree to make a bridge, Benny said. Timmy clapped his tiny wings in excitement. Working together, they pulled the vines down and made a swinging bridge for the monkey. Carefully, the monkey swung across to the other side, where his family was waiting. He hugged his family, then turned and waved at Benny and Timmy. We did it, Benny. We helped him. Timmy squeaked happily. Can you guess what will happen next? A scary creature appears from the depths of the cave, challenging Benny and Timmy. Or a new friend emerges, offering help and guiding Benny and Timmy through the cave's mysteries. Let's get back to the story to find out. After helping the monkey, Benny and Timmy felt really proud and happy. They waved goodbye to the monkey family and continued their journey. As they flew, Timmy couldn't stop talking about their adventure. We're like heroes, Benny, Timmy said with a big smile. Yes, little brother, we are. But remember, being a hero is also about facing challenges, Benny replied, feeling a bit worried about what lay ahead. Suddenly, dark clouds gathered, covering the stars, and a strong wind began to blow. Benny, I'm scared, Timmy whispered as he flew closer to his brother. It's okay, Timmy, I'm here, Benny said, trying to sound brave. They struggled against the wind, but then Benny saw a cave. Look, Timmy, we can hide in there until the storm passes, he said, pointing to the cave. They quickly flew inside, finding shelter from the wind and rain. Inside the cave, it was dark and a bit spooky. Timmy clung to Benny, feeling scared of the strange shadows and sounds. To cheer Timmy up, Benny started telling stories. He told tales of brave bats and magical adventures, making Timmy forget about the storm outside. Suddenly, they heard a soft, mysterious sound. What's that? Timmy whispered. Benny didn't answer. He was curious, too. Together, they followed the sound and found a glowing flower. It was the most beautiful thing they had ever seen. Wow, they both said, amazed. The flower made the cave feel warm and safe, and they knew everything was going to be okay. Can you guess what will happen next? Benny and Timmy get lost and cannot find their way back home. Or 
Benny and Timmy find the river and use it to navigate their way back home. Let's get back to the story to find out. As the storm quieted down, Benny and Timmy decided it was time to leave the cave. They thanked the glowing flower for its light and warmth and ventured back into the night. The jungle seemed different now, more peaceful, as if it had been washed clean by the rain. They flew higher and saw the moon shining brightly again. Home, Benny? Can we go home now? Timmy asked, his little wings starting to feel tired. Yes, Timmy, let's head back home, Benny replied, knowing they had both had enough adventure for one night. But as they turned to go, Timmy noticed he couldn't see his favorite star in the sky. Benny, where's my star? The one I always say good night to. Timmy's voice quivered with worry. Benny looked around and realized they were lost. The storm had changed the way everything looked, and now he wasn't sure which way home was. Don't worry, Timmy. We'll find our way, Benny said. But he felt scared, too. He had to be strong for his little brother. Then Benny had an idea. Remember the river we crossed? If we find it, we can follow it back home. With renewed hope, they set out to find the river. It took some time, but finally they spotted the shimmering water below. They followed the river, and before long the familiar sights of their home came into view. We found it, Benny. We're not lost anymore, Timmy exclaimed, hugging his brother. They landed on their cozy tree, feeling relieved and happy to be home. Benny looked at Timmy and said, We had an adventure, right? Timmy nodded, The best adventure ever. Can you guess what will happen next? A loud noise wakes them up for another unplanned adventure. Or a peaceful night follows as they dream of future adventures. Let's get back to the story to find out. Back in their cozy tree, Benny and Timmy snuggled up close, ready for a good night's sleep. But before they closed their eyes, Benny said, Timmy, every adventure teaches us something. What did you learn tonight? Timmy thought for a moment his tiny bat brain buzzing with all the amazing things they had done. I learned that being brave is important, but being together is the best part of any adventure, Timmy replied with a yawn. Benny smiled, proud of his little brother. And I learned that no matter how dark it gets, there's always a way to find the light, Benny added, thinking of the glowing flower that had warmed them in the cave. They both looked out at the moonlit jungle, feeling safe and happy in their home. Good night, Benny. Timmy murmured, his eyelids drooping. Good night, little brother, Benny whispered back. As they drifted off to sleep, the sounds of the jungle seemed like a lullaby, wrapping them in dreams of new adventures. And there, high up in their tree, with the jungle's magic all around them, the Fruit Bat brothers knew they were ready for whatever adventures tomorrow might bring. But for now, they slept, side by side, the bravest adventurers of the night. We hope you enjoyed this story. If you liked this video, please go ahead and push the like button. If you like the content and want to see more, please subscribe to our channel. Goodbye.